Hello there, people. I'm going to start this off right here by saying Happy New Year's 2021 to all the people who made it out of 2020. The worst year, I'm sure, of almost or either everybody's lives. Anxiety, depression, stress, all that type of stuff that you can think of that just makes you want to die. To all the people who made it out, Happy New Year's. But right now, as you see, I'm in a little spot, a little trailer right here. Uh, today is the day I talk about um, this bike right here, as you can see by the title. Uh, it's official that I try to sell this thing. Um, it's a little windy, and my voice is a little raspy, so I hope you can hear me good. I'm trying to talk as loud as I can. But I want to talk about this bike right here. So uh, as you already see by the thumbnail and everything, because I'm just going to put the price right there. I'm going to put everything right there. I'm going to say right off the bat now, I am going to try to sell this as my first offer for about $2,400. $2,400, $2,400. Uh, we'll be selling this on offer up. And when I sell this, I will not be doing cash. I will be doing cash app. Uh, I don't want to be trying to get scammed by somebody giving me $2,000 in cash. I'll be doing cash app. Um, and another thing too, I have a location where I want to sell the bike. It's just in front of a store, so somewhere public. So if you try to rob me, uh, everybody will see it. But I'm not sure how I'm going to get the bike there because um, I have a truck. The problem is I only have a permit. So I don't know if I want to risk driving the truck. I mean, it's a very short drive for me personally. So I probably will do it anyways because uh, if I can't drive, if I can't put this in the truck and drive it down there, uh, the only thing I can think of is riding the bike down there. And I mean, if no one cares if I ride the bike down there, seeing that I've already ridden it, seeing that it's used or driven it because it's used, um, my personal problem is I have to walk back, which would be. A little bit annoying, but I'll do what I can to get the bike sold if anybody uh, is willing to pay for what I'm selling it for. But, um, yeah, and that's if I can fit in the truck too. But anyways, I'm talking about prices and stuff. Let's get to the actual specs of the bike. And once I talk about what I have everything on, once I talk about what I have on the bike, uh, I'm going to just give you my reasons why I'm selling it. Because, um, of course, I don't want to, I'm not trying to scam. I don't want to leave anybody wondering, well, why are you trying to get rid of it? What's the problem? And I'm not giving up why I'm trying to get rid of it. It just seems like I'm trying to sell some junk. So let's get into the specs of the bike. Uh, this is a, as you can tell, it's a beach cruiser, fat tire, 26 inch tires, 1200 watt motor, rear uh, driven, only one brakes, which is the brakes you see right there, right in the back. And actually, let me get this off of my stomach real quick so I can uh, look at everything a little better. But um, 1200 watt motor, and then we got in the middle, as you can see the frame, here we go. We got in the middle frame is the uh, bag where I put the motor, or motor, the battery and the controller. So the battery is up here. Golly, this screen's dusty. And the motor, or what I keep saying, like the controller's down here. So if I zip this open, this is where the controller is, all those components. Wires and cabling and all that stuff. And I might be noticing a problem that I've never seen this bike or this bag that I'm noticing now. So that don't have to be mentioned. One I'll say is zipping this back up is not very easily. I mean, not very easy. I don't know what's going on here. This is the first time I've seen that. But you know it's there. And then the battery's up here. So you get the point I'm trying to zip it back up. But the weight of the battery makes it a little hard to zip. So the controller's down there. Battery's up there. Um, that bag... This bag issue, this rip here, might not um, be very good. I never noticed that until now, to be honest. So, and it's an e-bike link kit, I think. Yes, yeah, the e-bike link kit. So now up here we got the e-bike link controller. Now the or display. The original display I had was just the. If you watched the first video I did on this bike when I was first building it, was the three red dots. I accidentally got the wrong kit and got uh, the LED display. So I ended up buying the whatever this is called display LCD display this is the front light bought this separately so front light on and off with the horn it comes with the horn and that's this right here and then um, bought the fork separately the fork is from the same company that the bike frame came from which is sick but I've got the uh, fork separately to try to get some suspension going on in the front <coughs> I'm a little more of a comfortable ride I don't remember the company name I think that's it right there if you can read that and there was that rock BR OS or Rock Bros. I don't know if that's the actual company name. I don't remember the company name, but I know I got it off of Amazon, but it's a bike rack. 
Uh, I actually sat on this bike rack once. I didn't sit on it while driving because no one was driving the bike and that would be very uncomfortable to sit on this thing, but it's strong. Uh, I'm about, a, at the time I was like at least 115 pounds, so it can do some weight. And here we got the rear light. And also to mention while we're looking at the rear light that the uh, bike rack does come with a fender. That's one of the reasons I got this. Uh, so any water splashing up because I kept having water hit my back every time I would hit the puddle, any puddles, water puddles. Um, so ever since I got this, I think this stopped that pretty well. It's a little skinny though. And I have the uh, backlight plugged out directly to the bike. Not right now at the moment because I have my speaker plugged in. But usually what I'll try to do is um, when the light is charging, it'll flash red. So if my light's dead on battery and I'm driving, I have it flash the red as I'm driving, we'll plug it up. So not only is it charging while I'm still going, it's flashing something to still let people see something behind me. Now it is a little dim, but it's, uh, it's better than nothing when the, uh, the light's completely off. So with this kit, I got the dumb throttle. These are mountain bike grips. I don't remember the company name too with this. I don't know if that's the company name, but these are very, very nice grips. I love these grips a lot. Ever since I got these, I got these for my scooter and obviously this bike. Um, I don't think you should get any other type of uh, grips. These mountain bike grips, they're nice. They're easy to take off. You just take them off by the screw. You don't have to worry about doing all this extra struggling and hurting your wrist or all these extra tools to getting them off. Just a little L-shaped tool, unscrew that, and then bam, they're untightened. And you use that, of course, always to tighten it back. So, um, I don't know, yeah, that's really all of it with this bike. This is a sick UFO frame. That front tire is actually not the original front tire. Uh, that is the front tire, that was the front tire to my brother's bike. He had a McCarkey Seattle, um, and we traded because he needed some brakes. So, I didn't think I need two brakes because this bike isn't that fast. Or like it isn't extremely fast the top speed of this bike i've gotten it personally up to about i can get this thing to an average like if it's windy right now if i try to go top speed right now i'll get about 29 to 20, 28 to 29 miles per hour and i might peak 30. Uh, on days where it's not so windy just you know pretty dead breeze i might get about 30 31 29 to 31 miles per hour and if you're going downhill i've gotten this thing up to 34. If it's a steep hill, you might hit 36. I was on a hill while wind was pushing me, so I got up to 36. It's pretty fun. But on average speeds, on windy days to non-windy days, you might get about 28 to 31, 32-ish miles per hour. So it's pretty nice speed, but with that speed, um, I didn't feel I need any more than just one brake. So I kept that on there. His bike had no brakes, so um, he had to stop with his feet. So I was just trying to help him out, gave him the wheels. So we switched wheels, which I didn't mind because it has kind of like a black and white look going on. So this is a uh, this is not the original wheel, and then these fenders uh, bought these separately. These actually came with a back fender, but I never put the back fender on because taking this wheel on and off was a little annoying. And then I already had this, and then uh, that's with all the motors and stuff though and the kits. So once again, extras is this light. Uh, I got this light from the same company, e Bikeling, but that's separately. This is to the back light. These little mirrors, <coughs> I like these mirrors, but they can be a tad bit annoying some people might not find this annoying some people might uh, i had to put this bike in my room because when i built this bike it was summertime so i didn't want to have this battery in all this heat so um with these mirrors being in my room there's no space i'm always i end up always kind of hitting the mirrors and they move very easily so they work nicely they look good they're clear but they're not that tight you can tighten them a little more but i don't know maybe i just got baby fingers and i, I struggle to do so because yeah i can't i my hands is not allowing me to get them any tighter or it's just a little too hard to do that but i might just have baby fingers and then uh shoot what else i got to talk about on here um i rechanged the seat out this seat came with a scooter i bought off for offer up um because the original seat that this came with the pattern everything is the same it's, it's funny that this whole threading and everything is exactly the same as the original seat. But the problem with the original seat was I was trying to get some more of a smoother ride and the original seat had these thick rubberish plastic things that didn't actually let the seat bounce where this has springs on it. So the seats also switched out. And another thing I should, actually I'm going to get to that in a minute because I'm going to start getting to the cons and some things people might not like. But honestly, I might actually, I might just be able to get that uh, now. Okay, well yeah, because uh, that's really it. The bag, the motor, the or the batteries and controls is the motor so once again like i already talked about certain things people might not like about this bike the mirrors they are a little uh they're they're loose so 
every time you ride, it might you might have to readjust them every time, as unless you have them in the area where they're not constantly getting hit. Uh, my room's small, so I need some walking space, but they're not tightly on. And then, um, what's another thing? Chain. There's no chain. I took the chain off. I wanted a motorcycle feel. I didn't really find myself. I didn't think I was going to do any pedaling. So I took the chain off. And I also took the chain off because during the process of this, when I tried to put the chain back on, it was ridiculous. I, I could, just couldn't get it on. So I tried to take the chain completely off so I can get the wheel on easier. And there was no main link to the chain. So I said, forget it. I'm probably not going to do any pedaling anyways. So I cut the chain off. So there's no chain to this. No changes at all, all throttle. With just throttling, um, I think the farthest I went was about 20 miles. It was just one of those days we was all I was outside with the family. We were just in the front yard sitting, and a lot of times I had my scooter or my bike out, and we'd just be doing circles all in the street, and we'd be doing that for hours. And I think I hit up to about 20 miles on this thing. So it can go far. Speaking of miles and uh, more specs, one thing I did forget about is the battery. The battery is a 48 volt, um, 20 amp hour, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery by unit pack power. Got that off of Amazon as well. Battery's giving me no problems. Very nice. And as you can tell, this is the charger plug to the battery. I have sticking out like this whenever I want to charge. It's just nice. It's just that easy. Ah, uh, shoot. And I think that's really it for certain things that people might not like when it comes to just the bike. Now, my personal problems why I'm selling it, i to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. This is not off script, so yeah, I'm all over the place. This is not scripted. I'm just, I just go off from my dang head. My problems I have with this bike, um, one of the problems is one, I am five foot nine. Like, I think I'm a flat five foot nine the last time I've measured myself. And um, when I first bought this bike, it said 29 inch wheels. So I was going to get some tires to replace them because I thought this motor would be smaller because I thought these were 29 inch wheels. But when the bike came here, it turns out these are 26 inch wheels, but they're the size of 29 inch regular tires because of the tires so fat. So the problem with that is the problem I at least have um, when I sit on, I can easily sit on the bike. I ride it obviously that I have it. But when I'm stopping in a red light, because some, a lot of times I drive this in traffic, when I'm stopping in a red light, when I'm stopping anywhere and I have to wait for a bit, like just cars, but mainly red lights. Um, when I'm sitting, I can't like stand on both of my feet. The bike is too tall, so I have to kind of be on my tippy toes on one of my uh, feet. So the problem with that is after a while, um, it starts to hurt my, uh, my balls. The end, and then I have to sit at the end of the seat so my uh, feet can be a little closer to the ground. And it's not too comfortable after a while of sitting in red lights, especially when you're going somewhere. Or you're just driving around and you have to sit at plenty of red lights. It starts to hurt after a while. So the bike is slightly too tall for me. And just number two, I like the bike a lot. It looks very good. It works very good. But this is not the original style I wanted to go for. When I wanted to get me an e-bike, I, uh, I didn't want to really go for the style. I ended up going for this style because I was trying to get more speed. I was going to go for some other um, bikes. I can't remember the company names right now, but I was going to go for some other bikes uh, from some companies, and I was going to upgrade their motors. Those uh, some regular bikes, 750 watt joints. I was going to upgrade the motors. Somebody's coming, <laughs> but I was going to upgrade the motors and just leave it at that. But that ended up not happening because I got too focused on trying to get more speed. I thought the e-bikes from the companies only 750 watts. It wasn't going to be fast enough. So now the bike is a little faster and all, um, but it's just not the look and the style I wanted to go for. So, I don't know. I just I just wasn't feeling it. It's like one of those things where I like it, like you you go by, let me zip this closed. You go by, you know, you're driving and you see a car you've never seen before, a really nice looking car. You like the car a lot, but it doesn't mean you would personally buy it. It's just one of those things. I like the bike a lot, but I just don't want it. So... That's the moment. That's the problem I'm having. But uh, besides that, um, I don't really think there's much else to talk about. I guess I also can mention, if you can see on this display, let me see if I can point it here. Let's find it. Uh, there, I've slapped about 300 miles, right. almost 400 miles on this bike. Let me find it. 388. Having to drive here, and it's probably going to be about 390 by the time I get back. How you doing? It's probably going to be about 390 by the time I get back home. So there's a decent amount of miles on this bike. So I don't know if that'll be a problem with anybody. But yeah, besides that, I just, it's nice. 
it looks very nice it works nice but it's not the original style i want to go for and it's quite too tall for me so stand, sitting on it hurts hey you don't uh that's really the only problem personal problems i have with the bike it's not my style and yeah it's a little too tall so if you're my height uh you might have the same problem so i don't know if that's going to take you away from wanting to get this i mean for certain some people i'm not 100 percent sure i don't want to call nobody broke but for some people uh the price might make them go away but yeah that's really it so i would do a nice good long ride on here but it's probably gonna be a slow cruise for this video simply because oh man these pants are not the stretchiest in the world i didn't realize i haven't been on this bike in quite some time because i didn't want to drive it too much i had to replace the brake pads because the original ones are in there i used them up so they were not that great anymore and then actually where am i going i want to finish this trail before i do any u-turns this might lead this is a new trail this is not the same trail i was on last time but yeah um i got to put some new brake pads in dang the core is hooking up. i'm trying to talk here put some new brake pads in and uh felt to realize whoa the battery is very low since i haven't been on the bike in a while so i think i could get some uh, mileage out of it maybe but i'm not too far from home but i don't want to risk it i don't feel like walking home i'm hitting the wrong thing here see the i'm still at 49 volts i think i have a long way to go but i also uh, the brake pads are good but i need to re i need to, i need to do some, some better adjusting to the brake pads and as you can tell the bike's a little dusty i cleaned it but i need to clean it again uh, i forgot to clean the fenders there's some white stuff on the fenders they're not it's not scratched i just need to wipe it oh and one thing i did forget to mention one more thing uh there's only going to be two things that's not going to come on this bike and i sell it and that's going to be the phone holder and the water bottle holder simply because i really love these two i can probably replace the cheap ones i have on my scooter and i might use this i'm working on a new project it's probably gonna be exactly the same as this just the style i want to go for or the, the better style i want to go for this core keeps getting stuck on my pants so that's really it uh, i'm not gonna include the phone holder in the in the uh water bottle holder everything else will be included i won't be taking anything off I don't think, uh, I'm not sure, but I don't think this uh, trail extends any further. Okay, so I just realized there is a one thing I did forget. I knew I was forgetting something. So with this bike, it came with a lot of stuff that I didn't use. And I think either one or a couple of things I replaced. Uh, the the handlebars, the original grips, uh, or what's it called? The original brake grips. I never used those, so I will include those. Um, the pedaling assist uh, configuration theme G, whatever you call it just just pedal assist I never use that so I'll include it uh, the old display for whatever reason if you just might want it I'm, I'm more likely going to include that as well and um, what else am I remembering here there's a couple other things that might have came with that I came with it but basically everything that came with the kit that I end up not using I will include but yeah I think that's it from what I can remember right now but yeah, I will go a little faster. It's just I need to readjust the brakes better. I don't know how cheap or good these pads might be. Seeing that these are these are pads that came with the bike. I had two. I just took um. I had two brakes. I just took the pads out of one of the brakes because I know I'm not going to use them. Oh, the, the trail does extend. Okay, we can go a little further. But I know I'm not going to use them because I only I only have one pair of brakes right now. So I'm not worried. I'm not. I just took them out the other brake. I think we're good to go. So we can try to get a little speed in, but I'm gonna have to break early if this court can fucking move. But well, rise now, let's just uh, finish this trail, do a U-turn unless the trail goes out even further. And let's, let's just, uh, I'm gonna take a short ride home. Look at that, we're getting about 29 miles per hour and this is a straight road. Trying to figure out where the stop is. Goddamn schools. I forgot school exists. I'm a goddamn eighth grade dropout, so I ain't been in school since 2016. Yeah, this has a bridge. Fuck it. Maybe we should hit this dirt. Or does the trail go up? I think the trail goes up. If it doesn't, we can hit that side. How you doing? You got the bag on. Getting that real jogging. Alright. This trail extends. Let's let's just keep going. 
it's funny um i probably said this in my last video but i didn't know i really didn't know that vegas had trails like this i'm sure they had dirt trails i mean it's it's vegas and shit but rocks and dust dirt but i mean like little road trails like this i never knew these existed so being on these is uh it's tight it's nice and this trail is new i haven't been on this trail it just happened to be in the same area as the other one i found but closer Bro, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. I don't know where this this shit's about to take me, but we about to just go. I got 49 volts. I think uh I think this will last this ride will last much longer than I think it would. Or I'm acting like it will. Okay, as I wait for traffic, because that truck's coming. Let me move this goddamn cord. This shit's getting on my nerves. It keeps hooking up to my damn pants. Oh, clear. Oh shit, what is this? Yeah, look at that. Damn, I feel like I'm up on the mountains. We gotta get this view real quick. Hold on. I will say one thing though, because uh, once again, I don't want to scam. Uh, I don't know where the hell this rip in the damn bag came from, man. That's quite annoying. Because that just decreased the uh, the levels of me possibly needing to sell this damn thing. Holy shit. I'm not a very big fan of heights. So I'm not gonna get too close to the edge. But damn, are we high. I didn't know there was a large hilly or dip-ins down here like this on regular. I'm trying to take this damn thing off the body. God damn, I didn't know there was areas like this on regular roads. I thought you gotta go into the mountains to get a view like this. I don't get too close. I ain't a fan of heights. This shit makes my stomach turn. Hell, this is Vegas for you. This is the most fucking trees you'll see in certain areas. All right, let's get back to the ride. But yeah, I didn't know where the hell that rip came from. That's annoying because that just that just probably greatly de decreased the uh, possibilities of me selling this bike. <sighs> well, I'm trying. hit back on the trail another thing too it being uh new year's new year's i haven't uploaded in a damn month ah i'm not going i've just been working on my new project and uh look at that goddamn view i need to start using my head mount more that view is crazy but um yeah, I've been gone for a month. I have videos that I need to edit so I can upload. It's not that I haven't been posting anything at all. It's just uh, I've been working on this project, getting it slightly lazy, and I've been streaming a lot on my gaming channel. But I'm gonna make sure I up those, upload this video first, even though the other two are older, simply because I need, I wanna upload this on New Year's. I wanna see who's willing to buy the bike. So I can get rid of it as soon as possible. Goddamn, taking space in my room. I ain't got no space. Yo, look at that bridge. Holy. Shit, I should've went on this trophy. Actually, no, I shouldn't have. Because if I would've went on this trophy for my last video, then it would've been whack. Yo, look at that long there. Is that like a road? Where the fuck am I? As long as I've been living in Las Vegas, I don't know much areas about Las Vegas. This is the most, or no, ever since February or March of this year, this is the most I've ever been able to travel Vegas alone. So this has been the most I've been able to see areas I haven't seen in Vegas. But let's finish this trail. I'm gonna go up that bridge, but I feel like my height is gonna fuck me. My height fear is gonna fuck me. I need to slow down. I don't want to wear out these brakes. Is this the end? Do we need to do a U-turn now? I don't fuck, I'm at a damn park. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with that person over there, but they doing their thing. Yo, this shit done took me far from home. <laughs> going on 
a short cruise. these giant blocks it makes the audio go in and out, or not audio but the sound of my bike go in and out slow down a little bit we're going downhill now yeah we're going down we're going down down I'm not even throttling anymore uh oh Yo, this is crazy. I really never knew they had trails like this. This is this is amazing. All right, I'm not even throttling. We're just getting speed from going down the hill. You know the wheels are still nice and smooth at least. Hey, how you doing? Building up there look familiar. All right. Uh, I don't know if this trail is going to keep continue, but at some point I got to turn back around. I'm still at 48 volts, so maybe not. Maybe not so much. I think I forgot how long these batteries last. It has been quite some time since I've been on one of these scooters and bikes. I haven't driven my scooter in actually quite some time. If anything, I, I got so much miles on the bike now because I've been driving this a lot ever since I got it. The thing with the scooter is I want to turn that... Well, I mean, they're kind of both... Ooh, excuse me. They're both kind of, you know, fun things to play around with. Definitely during 2020 when you can't fucking go nowhere. But, um... The scooter... Ever since I got the bike, getting used to the driving the scooter, I got I had to get back used to it because uh, the bike was just much easier, smoother, not so wobbly to drive. But the scooter was all those things that I just said. Did I possibly just do like a? No, there's no way I did. The trail continues from there, but I gotta do this weird ass cross. So I think this is where I make that U-turn. But, um, yeah, the, the the scooter, definitely driving it at high speeds. Like, I have a video of me doing about a 15-mile drive on the scooter. And um, you can see a lot. At the time, I was handling it, and I wasn't really nervous about it because I got used to the scooter. But I was wobbling a lot, the speed wobbling, the possibility of not being able to gain control after wobbling. It's a lot less compared to the bike simply because of the wheel size. In that video, I wobbled a couple times and it looked kind of dangerous. So that's a lot with this new bike project I'm trying to make. It's a little smaller to fit my size, but I can still do speeds with this bike right here and I have to do it with wobbling. Where the um, the scooter, I still do 30 miles per hour on the scooter and I'd still be wobbling. That speed wobbling crap is scary. I'd rather not fall off and crack my head at 30 miles an hour. So uh, I haven't ridden my scooter in a while and when I do I can tell I'm a little more nervous now because once again it's been a bit so I'm not as used to it my legs aren't adjusted to it that much anymore because I'm always on this thing so <clears throat> I think that scooter I have which is it's a Nan Robot DC Plus very nice scooter but simply because of the wobbling and all that stuff with the scooter oh that's the people we just saw they might do some skateboard tricks down there it's a cool looking little area y'all see that look at that like where am I where am I? It's funny, I just seen these people. <laughs> but yeah. Uh oh man, we just cut down voltage a lot going up this. Oh no, we didn't. It's like these these e-bikes and stuff, they'll kinda act like they cut down the voltage, but once you stop, they'll go right back up. I was at 48, it went down to 46, and I think that's because the power it's currently using to drive right now. But, um, yeah, that, I have a Nano by D6 Plus. That'll probably be the, 
that is the first scooter I've gotten electric vehicle I've gotten actually and it'll probably be the last electric scooter that I get hey don't but um simply because of that it just feels a lot more dangerous to drive a lot higher chances of losing control speed wobbling and falling off so if I do do any more electric projects it'll probably continuously to be bikes I mean I'll get some more scooters in the meantime I still have one red scooter I'm working on but I'd rather do more bikes than scooters simply because of that now one thing I do want to do I'll probably do a u-turn right after I'm done crossing it because my voltage is getting low and I'd rather not be stuck walking home uh, I'm gonna say fuck the fear of the height and I'm gonna cross that bridge you know I could get I could sit in the middle and get a very good view you know what you know fuck it for the video I could go down across that bridge right you see that dirt trail that goes all, all the way down to that I don't know if it's supposed to be a road but that what looks like a road at least in them bushes I just saw at the very end of this trail I said can I do this it's a construction site I see construction trucks over there but they're gated so no, this is not a construction. That is not a construction site. We're doing it. We're doing it for the video. I mean, shit, it's not major. I'm sure, the bridge won't collapse on me the moment I cross it. At least I hope not. Jeez, that's a good way for me to start 2021. <coughs> Try not to use these goddamn brakes up so much. Look at this. Let's get right in the middle. It smells weird. Ugh, like firecrackers and cigarettes. I don't know if that's the metal or what. I don't know why metal would smell like firecrackers and cigarettes, but... One of those fumes are mixing. Look at this shit. This, that's where we just came from. Look at this over here. This is the road, what looks like a road that I'm trying to go on real quick, just to see the view. Hell's going on down here? I ain't gonna get. I wanna go to the trees. I ain't gonna get too close. I don't know where the hell I'm at right now. I don't know what creepy critters crawling around this fucking area. Cause I've legitimately never seen this dude before. This area before, and this is something just flew by my face. Cause I'm already seeing creepy critters. Oh shit. Not too far away from my house yet. I've never seen this area before. This is a steep ass hill. I'll say one thing too, uh, which some people might not mind about this bike. It's not the most torquey in the world, at least compared. You know what? I don't even know if this bike's gonna be able to get back up here if I go down here. I'll say what the hell is that? Somebody's dog going crazy. I'm afraid I'm gonna jump a gate. You know what? I don't think this bike would be able to get up there. Someone's telling me this bike. This is not the most torquey bike in the world. Goddamn chihuahuas. This view is crazy, though. Okay, well, our sound is being <coughs> tempered, tampered with our background audio. All right. I think it's about time I get home. This bike dies. Oh shit. You can tell though this is definitely an unfinished area. Because uh maybe not. I think I was supposed to go around that way. <laughs> Might have to do so a little bit more recleaning to this bike. Yes, yes, you can hear the bike's not the most torquey in the world. It'll move you, but it starts off a little slow. Which some people might not, might not mind. Some people might just want something to cruise on. And you know, when I realized that I couldn't really go for the look I wanted to go for, I'm like, all right, well, this is like a beach cruiser I was trying to go for. What do they call it? Ah, shit, I just forgot the name. It's the specific style I was trying to go for with this beach cruiser body. Something about a something racer or something like that. 
not I don't I don't think it was a cafe racer or was it? No, it was. I think it was a beach cru cruiser cafe racer. I tried to go for that look as that's why I got the low handlebars and everything. So I'm like, if I'm gonna have a beach cruiser, the cafe racer, even though this thing's not the fastest <laughs> chopperish look, then I might as well make it a cruiser bike. But it just bothered me that, you know, wasn't the look I wanted to go for. But as I uh, ride my way back home, I'll make sure there's nothing else I'm leaving out. Any other possible problems or at least problems that I might have. Make sure I'm not leaving nothing out. Is this to keep cars from going back here? If you would literally try to put cars back here? That's another thing, as you can hear, these brakes do squeak a lot. There's a car trying to turn right there and I wait for them. That's about what I went out, I'm getting hit. Let's fuck it. Let's try to hit some speed just to show you. I'll give you a decent demonstration of the speed you might be to hit. I'm gonna call out the numbers. We're doing 23 right now. 24, 25. Now we're going uphill, so we're gonna slow down. 26, 25, 24. We're low on battery, <laughs> so to hit 25 miles per hour at about what does that say? 47 volts. This uh, this being a 48 volt battery. So the, disc, the screen will display 40, 54 volts. So when you're at 54 volts, that is the max battery capacity or is that full battery. And then uh, the last time I had this, the first time I had this bike actually cut off on me. And I think that's when I did about 20 miles. There's squirrels or rabbits in these bushes or possibly rats. But um, <laughs> the last time I did, uh, I did that and I think I got this thing to 20 miles, the bike cut off at me at about 42 volts. I'm at 45 volts, so the last time I was at about 45, 44 volts, I got a max speed of about 25, or at least an average max. Oh shit, I feel like my hat's about to fly off. So, I think it's about time I head home for this bike dies on me. But we can, you can still hit about 25 miles an hour at a very low voltage. So if you had near, vo if you had in voltage, you need to hurry up and get home or something might be able to get there fast before your juice runs out. I can just go this way if I really wanted to. Oh, they're turning. Voltage, we're at 25 miles an hour. 25.9, almost 26 miles an hour. I will say one thing too, though, with uh, seeing the speeds that I get on this bike, I am a much lighter person. Like right now, I got about 117 or 118 pounds on me, 118 pound body weight, and uh. Yeah, I've hit, I've hit about certain speeds. I've gotten this bike. I've hit those speeds with this body weight. So for some people who are heavier, uh, I don't know if that means you'll get slower speeds or just slower acceleration to those speeds. Oh, that's a big ass dog. So I'm in here. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I don't need no dogs jumping over gates and walls. I see that dog. That's a big motherfucker. <laughs> All right, but anyways. That was a nice little coast. 
but we're back on the road. This is one thing about fat tire bikes. You could do this. Skinny ass tires won't have you lose control. The last time I was on this road, my dumb ass uh, almost got hit by a car. Because there's another car that drove because they saw no traffic. And like an idiot. Are they letting me go? They're letting me go. Like an idiot. Uh, I try to just follow behind that car thinking, well, if he's going, there's no cars there. Well, that wasn't the case. He was going because he was he had the enough clearance. I didn't, so that person had to hit the brakes. That's why you drive safely. I really need to clean this bike because this, this thing's squeaking now. It's a bit dusty. It's dusty out here in Vegas. Alright, well shit, I just checked the recording time on this video. This is a long ass video. You know, fuck it. It's the last video of this bike. Uh, I haven't been able to really do driving tests on this bike. Because I never really had a GPS on me or nothing. Or not at the time, I didn't have service for the longest. So, this is only the second video I've done on this bike. So fuck it, it's making a long video. The problem is, I should have only about 7 minutes left of record time. So, I should probably end it here. I'm gonna repeat certain things again. Shout on the bike for $24, $2,400. At least that's my first offer uh, if anybody's willing to go for. The bike does not include the phone holder and the bar bottle holder. 1200 watt motor, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Beach Cruiser, 26 inch fat tires. Only one brakes, not two, no chain. So it's throttle only. This display does have five different uh, levels of drive modes if you want it to be that much. And if you want even more, you can go into the settings and do uh, nine. I tried to do nine, but I didn't think it was necessary. And uh, apparently there's a, a rip in this bag, so can't get a new one, so. That's that, which is quite annoying because I don't remember that being there, but it is what it is. Mirrors are nice, a little loose, so some people might find that annoying to have to probably constantly readjust them. Some people might not care. Some people uh, might not even hit them that much to where they would really need to always adjust them. For me, I was taking space in my room, so sometimes I accidentally hit the handlebars. And it will be in the pictures in the offer up, but uh. I did drop this bike. This drop, this bike fell on its side twice. So the uh, the brakes right here has some bit of scratches on them. They were the brake the handle was bent. I took a hammer into it and I was able to straighten it up as much as I possibly could. So the brake handle works very well. Ooh, don't get no worse than what it is, but uh. It's just slightly bent and it's scratched up. Yeah, that's really it. So, if y'all enjoyed this one, make sure you go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to post this video as soon as I can post the offer up offering. So that'll be both, that'll both be live. And I'm out. Peace.